The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. Hey, happy Valentine's, you beautiful bastards. It's your boy Reese Chanson, and in today's episode, really, we're looking at players. It's a film about romance, I guess. So, let's talk about it. Why don't we? Within a few moments, I realized from the get-go that Adam was in love with Mac. He was just incredibly friend-zoned. Like, these guys finished each other's bloody sentences. They were the perfect match. But, you know, this movie, Players, is quite interesting. It comes out on Valentine's or Netflix, and it's a really nice movie. I really enjoyed it. It's got a bunch of stars in it, you know. Just to name a few, it's got Gina Rodriguez, it's got Damian Waynes Jr., it's got Joel Courtney, it's got Tom Elias, Lizzie Koshe, if I'm saying that name right. So I was like, wow, this is pretty good. It's got Adam Segal, Ryan Christians. So it, it's, 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 it's a good film. I don't know why I'm stumbling. I don't know why I'm stumbling. But okay, let's just put it into... Here's a few few facts. So the whole plot is this group of friends... You know, they, 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 every night they help each other get laid. Basically, that's it. And at first glance, I'm like, my God, this is incredible. I should do this with my friends. And then the realization that shit, you don't have any friends to do this shit with, bruv, hits me. And after I succumb to the sad realization, <laughs> I enjoy the movie. Anyway, uh, this movie is really good. So Mac or Mackenzie, if you want to say her whole name, one is in love with this guy. Nick or Nicholas Russell or something. Or she thinks he's in love with him because he seems to be the perfect guy. He's not childish. He's sophisticated. He's got the vibe. So they do this play on her, on him. She gets laid. And then after getting laid, she's like, oh my God, this guy's the shit. He's, his life is well put together. He's not cartoony, any of that shit. Long story short, she tells the guy she wants them to run a play where she keeps the guy. And her dream goal is to get a draw in this dude's apartment and the beauty of it she finally does get the fucking uh, draw and then she breaks up with the guy towards the end i told you why are you upset i told you this was gonna be spoilers in the beginning it's in the goddamn intro that i do spoilers so don't be upset uh anyway so she comes to the realization that she, you know the snick guy was trying to edit her but i don't think nick was editing her in any way she had sort of made everything about Nick in terms of trying to impress him. The whole concept of the whole movie, when they're running these plays on this Nick fella, she's more interested in him. You know, even when something great happens in her life, she's not, you know, thrilled about it. She wants him to be thrilled about his life. So she's, she's more of a pleaser. So I don't see him being the bad guy because he rewrote her life in a way. Because he had painted a life that, she and him share the same type of interest. Like, they want, she likes to go to the opera. She likes to jog. She likes to do all the shit this guy does. She likes to read at book clubs and shit, which she doesn't, you know. But, oh my god, the plays are incredible. It's like, if you're really looking for a night stand, the plays are fucking amazing. Like, the way they stalk this man. Like, make him see you, but act like you don't see him. So he's like... Am I seeing you too? Are you stalking? Nah, it's beautiful. Go to places that he would go, but always pretend that you're busy for him or too busy. Like, oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Okay, bye. So they, they get to see you too often. It becomes like, it's almost a fate thing. It's fucking amazing. God damn, this movie was incredible. The, the perfect Valentine's movie for your lover. My opinion. Wow, well, it's, it's a breath of fresh air. It's, it's the spirit of love. That's what's going on. So, yeah, man. I, I really enjoyed it. I fucking enjoyed it. And usually, I give, like, reviews of films into detail. But at first glance, I was like, oh, man, these people are old. Why are they doing stupid plays, like, working on hookups like they're in college or something? This is dumb. But it's just a group of friends that, you know, want to have fun. And the sad part is... Well, the odd part is, everybody knows in their group of circle that this person is in love with this person, but they're going to keep their business out of it. And then, while well, everybody knows this person is in love with this person, everybody knows, but the one that you're in love with, you don't know. That's some next level betrayal right there. But I get it. It's kind of cool in that sense then. They feel perhaps that if they, you found out, the friendship would end if those feelings are not reciprocated anyway, which, which, which in most cases it's the case because... 
If you guys are friends and you reveal that you are in love with a certain person and they don't feel the same way, the friendship is never the same. It's over. Like, like that dust, man. And I've once realized that sometimes, you know, friendship that builds into a friendship changes. Like, like it's great when y'all are friends, but they may not treat you the same way when you're in together. I mean, like, not, not saying they're going to not watch the same movies or be a goofball, but they'll change. It just happens naturally. You, you wouldn't say shit you usually say. Unless the friendship is, like, really long. Like a 10-year, 15-year friendship. Then you could still call her a bitch. And she not be offended because she's acting like a bitch. And she knows, God damn, he right, I'm acting like a goddamn bitch. But if it's like a six months, a year, maybe two year friendship, you might have told her she's acting like a bitch before, but no one gives a fuck. We just friends. But now you her man or you her, you know, his woman. And you just told him he's acting like a pussy. You get a little tricky. And you don't want that. I've literally went off the rails here. I will say this is a really good movie, man. I think everyone and anyone with the spark of romance, a little feeling of love in their self, in their relationship, whatever they deem love should definitely, without a doubt, give players a watch. Adios from me, man. I, I wish I could done this justice and tell you stuff like it's about sports analyst or sports journalist. It's about people working in a local newspaper. It's about a girl who writes a piece that's life-changing and she probably gets a promotion out of it. It's about a guy who's uh, well-traveled and sophisticated versus a guy who's a co-worker but, you know, but knows everything about this girl. And it's about preparation. These, these dudes had PowerPoints about what a guy likes. That's the commitment these people take to get someone laid is preposterous. I'm like, wow, I'm, I was blown away. I really need to get friends who can do that shit. I need to get a friend who can do a PowerPoint about all the girl's weaknesses and all her positives and all her negatives. And, and we sit down together as a group over beers and we, ah, uh, you drink beer, but over whatever we drink and we work out this shit like, oh, we're getting this girl to date this nigga. If not me, be me. But it's just, I think it's the way forward. It's brothers, it's friends. We should be doing this. We should be getting a war room. We should be strategizing, coming up with formulas and solutions on how to get shit done. And hold on a minute, we, we, it can even go beyond sex and getting laid. We should be doing this on every aspect of our lives. You looking for a new promotion at work? Come at the cave, we gonna strategize, we gonna put pros, cons, negatives, positives, whatever you wanna call it, to help you get this motherfucking job. That's what we should be doing as friends. Bad. We don't gonna do that. Anyway, um, it's been a blast. Uh, hang out another time. Happy Valentine's. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.